Do you ever wonder what people ate in the olden days, like flummery or deviled eggs, tuna bake, tipsy cake, peach melba or macadamia minogue? But how were they ever invented? They were insane. Not so fast, Marty. Deranged. It's just, it's just a nutmeg like... short of an eggnog. For today's classic forgotten Australian recipe, we journey beyond time. Time, time. Beyond time. the outback. Ha, the back. A recipe that's almost supernatural. Supernatural, supernatural, supernatural. So join us if you dare. We all know the story of the first sheep to arrive in Australia on the first fleet. 29 fat tailed sheep to keep the officers company. But less is known about the mystery surrounding their arrival. Once the HMS Slaughter and Pillage arrived in Sydney Cove, only 21 of the 29 sheep could be accounted for. But where were the other six? Eight. No, I don't think they did. Here is sheep husbandry historian, Ivor Fulflank. We can't be entirely sure, but it seems that several of the sheep took advantage of a storm at sea and made a bid for freedom. They commandeered a lifeboat and made landfall somewhere near present-day Newcastle, on Bar Beach. Here they set up camp and thrived for a number of years, burrowing deep into the sand dunes to avoid the harsh Aussie climate. Under the leadership of one sheep, Sugar Pie McEwen, they thrived, often dining at one of the fashionable eateries on Newcastle's Merryweather Beach, like Dougie's Derivative Diner, 24 hour waffles with sauce, and carrying out the occasional raid for sheep nuts. But sadly for them, the great swoosh of 1794 washed vast quantities of sand up onto the beach. And the sheep were buried beneath the dunes, never to be seen again. Or weren't they? Or were they? In 1938, local witch hunter Doug Knocknobler was digging in the dunes for sirens. Doug dug and dug until one day he discovered a large brown lump. At first he thought it was a tree stump, but then he noticed its four little legs, fat tailed, woolly coat and sheepish grin. It was sugar pie preserved under the sand for 150 years. Like some kind of lamby mummy. He took it back to the shack and knowing the story of Sugar Pie and her buying brigands, was about to call the Natural History Museum. But then he felt a little peckish, having lived on mostly sea slugs and whale nuggets for years. So he popped the remains of Sugar Pie into a large pot, garnished with sea slugs, and a twist of whale nugget, and a whole lot of love. And 72 hours later, it was tender and aromatic. What he didn't know was that he created one of Australia's greatest early signature dishes. The lamb that time forgot. G'day, 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 wow. g'day. aromatic. Almost too aromatic. Sadly for Doug, he never knew of his significance on the great Australian culinary culvert. He died an hour later. No classic Australian recipe is complete without a big spoonful of roux stank. Available at all patriotic Aussie grocers. G'day, 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 g'day,